Hey, what going on, people? Crypto Yard representing me in the house, so let's jump into this one. So, before I tell you about equity, which is another plugin on top of the equalizer protocol, there's a bit of drama that I want to bring to you guys' attention. I mean, it's a bit gossipy, but not so much as it's also a warning, not only for myself, but for those of you that would be new whether it's the crypto or to the phantom network itself because i myself i'm not new to phantom network i was involved in the last bull run it's just that a lot of my time was spent on ethereum and its l2 such as avax polygon arbitrum yeah i was doing a lot of my farming and stuff on those l2s and even though i was on phantom because i was involved in projects i was invested in projects such as fhm Heco, even the original solidly model i was taking part in it i didn't fully understand uh, uh the concept of it then so i didn't take advantage like i should even though that turned to yeah it turned to a whole mess so because i wasn't delving deeply into the phantom network at the time i wasn't aware of many of these characters and personalities and all the shenanigans that they carried on with so let me just start off by showing you a video that i found quite hilarious i was watching it yesterday as someone posted it in the discord and you see that it has everything to do with what i'm talking about with these guys which later yeah i'll i'll, I'll explain as the video goes on guys but let me play this for you currently so maybe you'll find it as funny as i did it's hilarious what what is going on I'm here? Acting like an idiot. Shoot. Start saying the word allegedly, or you're gonna get sued. Let me finish what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I thought we were friends. That's idiotic. I can just leave on um, my own, bro. You I spent a year working with literal murderers. in chicago that's <laughs> crazy dude yes i'm emotional oh my goodness enjoy the rest I tell of your you, day i tell you i can't if i watch it 10 times it, the 10 times i had to laugh especially when uh bb's uh said i've literally i I've literally worked with murderers and then he had that that pause in chicago i was like wow you go my man you're working with the shirat ninjas get me like why well, the, the first thing that came to my mind when, when i saw the um the first question i had to ask in the in in the discord was was my man a correctional officer or something like how do you what do you mean by you actually work with murderers literally work with murder are, are you someone who's i don't know hiring out hitman you, you're the middleman that's hiring out hitman like yeah it was just funny for me uh but yeah So this guy here is Beebis. I think he's got something to do with the Bite Masons. And the other guy here is 24. $24 as he calls himself. And these guys are being accused currently. Are being accused of being devs that are copy pasta devs. They just go around and fought different different protocols and different different networks. Just to extract as much value as they can. This is not facts guys. This is what i've heard and what i'm putting out there because the reason that i started my youtube channel which which isn't this one it was my first channel which had way more subscribers than this one was because in 2017 i got scammed du during all those icos that was going on and i decided that i wasn't going to take it lying down so i there was another youtuber that wouldn't return my money and obviously i don't know to get a hold of him he's in america i'm in the uk so i don't know to get a hold of my man so i decided i'm going to start making videos and I was relentless because I wouldn't stop until everyone turned on him. He, he lost all reputation because I had the receipt and everything. The last I heard, I mean, I haven't seen him. People turned on him. They turned on his girl because I just wouldn't stop. And the yeah, last I heard was my man was scamming people on Facebook. But he, he completely left YouTube. And this is why I like this guy here, which is Phantom Coiner. Let me go and try and find the original tweet which will give you a idea of what's going on right so he's saying that people have got him blocked 
which is $24 Rouge and BBs. And these are all people that left Phantom during its bear market and bad. Not only did they leave, they bad mouth Phantom. They went and built protocol, copy pasted protocol, as a lot of people are saying, on other more popular uh, networks just so that they could take advantage. And now that they see that the Phantom is coming out with Phantom Sonic, now you can see that Phantom Corner is not happy with them, so he's just doing what I did via videos on Twitter by making Twitter posts and he's saying how to be a fake grifter 101. Number one, spread false articles about Phantom at its lowest because price went down and you weren't and you were dumb enough to not sell. Number two, leave the network for two years. Number three, come back to try extract value from Sonic Launch with a useless Dex, which is what is uh, accusing. Let me try and find this protocol here, which has got another tweet. He's accusing the Shadow Dex of doing because that that Dex is now run by the black guy that you saw in the video called Twenty Four. Um, yeah, and he's try he's now coming on to he's having a pre-sale basically, and Phantom Corner is trying to get people to not go in the pre-sale because he's saying this guy's just trying to do what he's done before. I He's obviously left Phantom, bad mark Phantom, and now he's coming back to extract value and stuff like that. And but another thing which I've noticed, which I must say doesn't sit well with me, is that um, they've partnered with PaintSwap. Now, for those of you that know PaintSwap, you'll know that Equalizer, the NFT, has brought has been the number one volume on their platform since the launch of Equalizer. Like it's always on top, bringing them the volume. Not only that, but bringing people such as myself to recognize them. I couldn't have known about them if I wasn't invested in Equalizer since that's where I got a lot of my V equals from. I would go on their protocols to purchase these NFTs when people were trying to sell. So what Equalizer said to PaintSwap, why don't you host your liquidity on our networks that could benefit us both? But because Equalizer wasn't offering them a protocol NFT, they didn't want to host their liquidity. They basically were shooting themselves in the foot because, as I said, guys, with the flywheel, it's best to host your liquidity in a V33 model. But they decided they weren't going to do it because they wanted a protocol. Now, the thing is, and the reason why I love Equalizer so much, because a lot of you that followed me from back in the days, you know that not only do i invest in the protocol itself but i invest in the team and equalizer has just got such a fantastic team so big up to yourself 543 big up to hoops gargory on um, and all the other guys who are building on top of equalizer and who are directly involved with equalizer itself so this is just a fantastic team and yeah they were looking out for retail because once you give a nft to a protocol they start extracting value from the system so retail is now getting less people like you and me we are getting less for our voting power um, and they're now voting for themselves with this vnft using the flywheel to benefit themselves while a lot of the time not um, reciprocating that benefit to equalizer and also taking a lot of value away from you and ice so because of that equalizer is the only v free free protocol that's not giving out protocol nfts to other team and a lot of people don't like that but that's what's keep us so solid and keep us going along with our tokenomics so when yeah so that's what's going on with these guys here guys so yeah my man phantom corner here he doesn't like rouge he doesn't like babies and he doesn't like 24 dollars uh, so yeah, let's go back to equity. As I said, it's a plugin that's built into the Equalizer ecosystem. And it's one where you could just basically, let me go here, manage. You could use a Phantom to, you could mint a Phantom to gain the equity token, if you want to call it that. Or you could use your app Phantom or your USDCs. And you will be getting a, as you were seeing here, you'll be getting a 79% return a lot of a lot of volume goes through here as well especially when it comes to the stablecoin a lot of volume goes through here which helps the fees on the equalizer and so therefore it helps voters such as you and i so i'll be talking about more projects that have been built on top of equalizer guys and
and I haven't even talked about the scale token which is basically equalizer on the base network guys so a lot to come just stay tuned get me all right people is keep the yard representing and we are out here zimmy boom